Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, November 6, 2019. Today, the 1957 Caddy Seville runabout. She is powered by a 35 horsepower Johnson Super Seahorse that was restored and rebuilt by Fran Secor in Otego, New York. Uh, Fran is, in my world, is iconic in terms of his ability to rebuild and restore, both mechanically and cosmetically, almost any vintage outboard engine. Fran's done a number of engines for us. Uh, you can see him regularly at the Clayton Boat Show in August. He's always under the tent, happy to share his experiences and what he knows and the engines he brings, for which he consistently wins. Top honors. So this Johnson is absolutely perfect in every respect. Uh, her wiring in the boat is original and perfect. We can't wait to have the boat restored, the engine hanging off the transom. And I'm just guessing that this little hull pushed by this 35 horsepower super seahorse might very well cozy right up to 40 knots. But time will tell. We've got winter on the horizon and that can't happen until next summer. She is powered by her original 1957 Johnson 35 horsepower big twin outboard that has been totally rebuilt and restored by the renowned virtually iconic Fran Secor of Otego, New York, who in my world has no equal when it comes to rebuilding and restoring outboard engines. The caddy herself has an interesting history. The owners of the Cadillac Boat Company struck a deal with Wolverine for cold molded plywood hulls, struck a deal with General Motors for the Cadillac badging crest and swoop that uh, is memorable, if I am correct, on the 1957 Oldsmobile. She is incredibly intact, totally original. I bought her from her first and only owner, so I am the second owner. He unfortunately decided to refinish her at some time. This boat was originally decked in alternating planks of blonde avadir and standard red mahogany, and she will be again. Her upholstery is original. Her windshield is without a blemish. We're going to have to be super careful with this windshield because it almost looks like it just left the factory. Her steering wheel, instruments, hardware are all original to the boat. They. All the hardware will be going to Mickey Dupuy, DNS Custom Metal Restoration in Holyoke, Massachusetts. He will do the cutwater. It's a three-piece cutwater on this boat. Uh, we will have him buff the rails. The engine is already done. We will strip her to bare wood.
and then start anew. She has correct colors, the red bottom, white bootstripe, bright hull sides with a combination of white above the the uh, rails that run along the hull sides. And when we get her in and start taking her apart in a future update video, I'll be pleased to show you these bench seats, which I said are original. They even still have their little spring-loaded wooden pegs in them that fit into holes in the sub bench, both fore and aft, so that they will not slide forward. Her hull is perfect, as I said, save for one issue. The owner dropped something heavy right there. Fortunately, it's a single plank. We will have to replace that plank. That, that's, that can't be saved as it is. So, into the shop she goes. We will offer periodic updates as we begin the deconstruction phase, stripping and then finishing back. That's our project startup video on the 1957 15 foot Caddy Seville. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.